Right, now, do you know what? We, uh, Amy May Sheed, that's what we're going to talk about now. We're going to talk about nut allergies, nut allergies in the news again today. And you'll not believe why. It was a prank played by a group of school children on their teacher. And you know what? It could have been fatal, couldn't it? Yeah, well, they left um, some nuts on her desk knowing that she had a severe nut allergy. And this is something that, that really shocks us here at This Morning um, because this is a story very close to our hearts. I'm sure you've heard us talk about her before, our colleague, producer Amy May Sheed. Now, she suffered a catastrophic allergic reaction to nuts. This was back in 2014. Well, finally, after five long years uh, and all sorts of treatment in various hospitals, there's her mum there, Sue, beside her, and um, in different healthcare settings, we're glad to report Amy is back home. Uh, when I say back home, her home has had to be adapted and whatever. But anyway, Ruth will tell you more because uh, earlier this week you went to see. I went to see her, setup. and yes, and they've they've moved home so that they could adapt a house, um, particularly for Amy's needs, and and it was just wonderful for them to have her back. At 26 years old, Amy May Sheed was a bright and beautiful young woman with a zest for life. A hugely loved member of the This Morning team, she was often seen smiling behind our presenters in the hub. But on the 12th of April 2014, while on holiday with friends, Amy suffered a catastrophic anaphylactic reaction after just one bite of food. And despite the use of two EpiPens, it left her in a coma, fighting for her life. Starved of oxygen for nearly six minutes, Amy was left severely brain injured and today continues to live with the devastating effects of an allergic reaction to nuts. For the last three years, Amy has had to live in a care facility. That meant Roger and Sue drove an hour and a half every single day to see her. But now they have finally got her home and I'm so excited to see her. Her parents, Sue and Roger, have had to move house and completely renovate their new home to accommodate Amy's needs. I can't wait to see my friend. Amy, Amy, look who I've brought to see you. I Who's can hear, this? I can hear you shouting. Were you uh, shouting for me? Uh, Hello, my uh, darling. Uh, you look nice. Uh, She's got all her jewellery on for me, but she always liked her jewellery. She likes her jewellery. Okay. Uh, so this is your new place, Amy. I like it. Uh, Very nice. Uh, hey, good to be home. Uh, it's so nice to know mum and dad are just next door, though, isn't it? Uh, hey. Uh, Can I have a look round? Uh, yeah. So uh, this is the hoist, Roger. Yeah, the hoist that goes from one end of the room to the other. Is so this your bathroom? This is the wet room. <laughs> And that's just more care of So they can sleep if they need to stay That's right, yes. And she's got her own front door as well. Uh, when I come and visit, I just come to your front door. They uh, don't even even know I'm here, do uh, they? Yeah. Yes. Hey? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, mm. It's so good to see you. Uh, mm. Having Amy back at home has been a dream fulfilled for Sue and Roger. But like all new chapters in people's lives, it has taken some adjusting. It's a huge transition, absolutely overwhelming for all all three of us, not just Amy. And it's going to take her time to settle into a new routine. Amy's cases, as you know, Ruth, very, very complex. The carers, I don't think, have dealt with anybody who's been quite as badly injured. Um, I'm looking around your lovely home and so many beautiful pictures of Amy, some at ITV when she worked yes. with us. Um, how hard is that for you to, to look at that daughter? <gasps> now yeah. and and the Amy that's next door mm. oh it's really very difficult we're not okay every day is exceedingly hard to get through it breaks my heart I can't believe that through one mouthful of food this young lady's life has been taken away as actually ours has too and it doesn't get easier and we, yeah. we're so sad for her it's still Amy but it's a different Amy it's like grieving mm. you're it's a constant grief even now you're grieving for Amy we had and you're seeing an Amy every day but it's not that Amy and that's hard to accept. How much change have you seen Sue since she has been home? She rather enjoys the evenings now we watch the television and we discuss things and um, we always try to actually have programs on that, that she can listen to because she's lost her sight. Well she's so lucky to, to have the two of you you know you're doing an amazing job Amy's auntie Julie and cousin Tom started the Amy May Sheed Trust four years ago. As well as funding the ongoing costs of Amy's needs, its goal is to raise awareness for people with serious nut allergies. What we've seen in promoting Amy's story is education and awareness 
really grow out. You go into a restaurant and they now ask about allergies every single time. So Tom, raising awareness of Amy's story, how has that helped you and the Trust and Sue and Roger kind of facilitate everything they've had to do to get her home? It's brought forward some very generous people, a lot of generous donations, um, including a building firm that really helped with the construction of Amy's annex um, at cost price, which was a fantastic contribution to what, to what we were aiming to do. The aim was always to bring her home. You know, costs are huge. Um, Amy's therapy costs alone are they go up to about 7,000 a month. We've been um, funding that for three years now. To celebrate the Trust's fourth birthday, they've released the Amy May Sheed Trust bracelet, which not only brings in donations, but also shows people's support for the work they're doing. It's very much ongoing. So yeah, we're really grateful for any support that we can get. In her new home, with the love of her family, it's clear this oh, nice is where sunshine. Amy needs to be. So you put all this in as well, yeah. So I can see why this area works for you as a family. So she's, Amy's got her place, but then you can all sit out here together. That's right, we want to do a nice sized patio and the sun will come around in the afternoon uh, mm. on this area and it'll be nice in the evening as well if you want shelter. But uh, yeah, this is what we've been working towards. <laughs> Isn't that lovely to see? It's taken them five long years to get Amy home. That's what Roger and Sue promised her, and that's what they've done with the help of their friends, of their family, and the Amy May Trust. So lovely to see them back together, isn't it? And everybody here, Amy May, as usual, uh, they're seeing you. Uh, you're not here, but we, everybody remembers you. Everybody talks about you. You live on. Guys, big wave to Amy May. Watching today, mm -hmm. very, very good. And very good also, come here, I'm going to go up behind camera five, our special friend, Graham, get you out here, take a <laughs> bow, lock off that camera, because this is a, this is a great guy, a great friend uh, to her as well, Graham, and he does camera five. And you're now going to show this, uh, this bracelet, right. Graham, that, that we have, so if you see that. With, uh, and and I know that uh, I know that Amy will be listening uh, in her in her room that you saw there, her yeah. new room, and she has this morning on. So, uh, Amy, we love you very much. We're all wearing your bracelet. So it says the Amy May um, Amy Sheed Trust on one side, and then on the other it says Nut Allergies Are Serious, um, and you can buy one of these. It will donate to the trust, but also for Sue and Roger and for Amy. This is more about awareness to just say to people it can have such tragic consequences, people with nut allergies, so please don't take it lightly. You know, you've seen a, how Amy's life has changed, um, and Sue and Roger are doing an amazing job, you know, helping her Absolutely. live her life now, but, um, but it, it just shows it's the how Amy, serious Amy, it is. It's the Amy May Trust, OK? That's all you need to know.